Hello everybody and welcome to a new vlog. So I'm just in Peter sprayer, getting these fields sprayed. Uh, I don't think I showed this sprayer the last time we had it across here. He did have it over at this farm a few weeks ago. Uh, so it has already been sprayed this field, but he has given me the job today of getting this field done. It's not going to take too long though, with such a big machine. I think there might actually be a second field that he would like me to do as well. But I will have to speak to him first because I'm not too sure exactly which one it is. Uh, and I, I want to speak to him anyway about Dennis and other stuff. Uh, also, you might be wondering why I'm starting the vlog today at half two in the afternoon. Basically, it was a really bad morning, very, very wet. Uh, I don't know if the rain is going to return, but yes, it was just a, a washout really. There was nothing I could really do, nothing interesting. So yeah, here we are. The first time we've been in the field today. Okay, so that is the field completed. It will be sprayed once more this year, and then it'll be time to harvest. So what we need to do now is, like I said, we need to head back over to the farm and just basically speak to Peter. I have a guess that the field is over in that direction, over there, but I can't say for sure. Anyway, let's just pull over here, put the hazards on. Hopefully no traffic turns up in the time we're closing the gate. Right. Good. Okay. Off we go. Yeah, so uh, very sad news about Dennis. It doesn't sound very good. Uh, well, basically the, uh, the police officer sort of just implied that he was most likely going to die, which is just awful. Really awful. But we're holding out hope. Hopefully he can pull through. When the tractor tipped over, he must have hit his head and must be brain damage. Horrible stuff. Uh, but maybe Peter knows more about it, I'm not too sure. So here we are. Okay, it does actually have loads of liquid fertilizer left in it, so I don't have to refill, which is good. Ah. Hello again, Dagwin. Have you finished the two fields? Uh, no, I've only done one at the moment. The Aussie rape field is down there. I wasn't too sure which other field you wanted me to spray. It's field number 47. Here, take this map. I've drawn one up for you. Ah, now that, that really does help. Uh, 47. Okay, so that's quite a long, long field. Uh, yes, can I keep hold of this map, Peter? Yes, not a problem. Now, I know it was only yesterday when the police officer came around, but... Do you know anything else about Dennis? Sadly not. It does sound awful. As soon as I hear something though, I'll let you know. Oh yeah, it, it's really devastating. Shocking news. <sighs> well hopefully it's going to be okay. Anyway, on an unrelated note, the old mower, which I used in the field, are you looking to sell it? Oh yeah, no problem. As I said, about £200 will do. Sold. Uh, yeah, I think even if I do plough my field, which I'm hoping to do, uh, I still have to manage the, the area, so a mower would be good. And also, it's a bit of a project, a bit of a restoration project. Good luck with it. Indeed. Okay, so there we go. £200 has been deducted from my account. Uh, so, it's now mine. Was it worth £200? I think so. It looks worthy of £200. So, yes, there we go. I might even try and get this refurbished today, might even try to start it. I don't know where the best place is to do that, so I don't know if Peter would appreciate it if I started to paint it in here, but I can always ask, no harm in asking. Anyway, 47, let's go. Uh, did I, I, I put this here, didn't I? I did. I should probably move that out of the way before Peter gets mad. Although, yes, I, I can't really imagine Peter getting mad. I don't think he's ever been mad. He's a very laid-back person, but if I think, yeah, if you ever made Peter mad, you'd know that you really have upset him. So, yes, I, I really never, never want to make Peter mad. It's always best to ask first. Right, so we have 2,640 litres of liquid fertiliser left 
in the tank. I don't think it's going to take that much. Did I leave this gate open? I think that was Peter actually. Was that the field that I did? It might have been the field that I did. Anyway, I can always close it. No harm in keeping all the gates shut. It's the rule of the countryside. Always close the gate behind you. Now, yeah, field 47, I believe you actually access it from down here. It might take me a bit of time just to go and find it. This is a very springy seat. Very, very springy. That's the field that I did the rolling in. Um, that's another field. I'm not too sure if Peter owns that field just there. Now, this is the field just here. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking for the entrance. There must be an entrance somewhere here. Could be this. Let's just take a look. It is good. And I can even pull off the road. Not blocking it at all. Okay, so it looks like we have here either a wheat or a barley crop, or it could be oats, I suppose. I'll have to take a closer look first, but I think it's barley. Yeah, pretty sure it's barley. So here we are. Let's get this thing all unfolded. And I will spray the final field of today. And then, yeah, if, if there is nothing else that Peter wants me to do, I really would love to start painting the mower. I think mechanically it is actually fine, so I don't have to worry about doing too much work underneath. I will visually inspect it, of course, but yeah, I don't need to uh, spend too much time playing with the blades. Now, I probably should mention the extra money which is in my bank account because it, it has gone up. Uh, there was £1,200 which went in yesterday from Peter that was for buying the bales, which uh, probably do need to be removed off the trailer. Actually, I'm not too sure what's happening with the Massey Ferguson. And then there was also a payment which came in for doing these vlogs, which was pretty nice. I think it was actually uh, £2,500. A really substantial amount. It just goes to show how many of you actually watch these videos. That's for a month, I think. So that's an incredible amount of money. Anyway, um, yeah, here we are. Let's just continue and then we can head back. It really doesn't take long at all uh, since it's just got such a massive boom. I think this is mostly used over at his other farm, but as he has such a big sprayer, he also gets it to uh, spray the fields he has here. He only has three, so... Yeah, he just gets them done incredibly quickly. Well, that's another fail done. gate closed up and then we can head back to Peter and tell him that everything has been finished and these crops are looking very good I must say right then yeah so yeah if there is nothing else for me to do I'm gonna ask him if I can uh, start work on the mower I think there's probably only two main things that I would like to do uh, one of them is to paint the, the metal work and get all that improved and also possibly the material which runs around the outside of the mower uh, which must be just to stop stones from flicking out I would imagine um, yeah I think that could do with replacing it, it's, it's not very good it's a bit perished so uh, yeah it would be good if I could go to the uh, dealership or the store and get a new one get it fitted and then well the potential is there for it to look like a brand new mower which would be very interesting to see so yeah, anyway, um, before I get shaken out of this seat, bounced out of this seat, uh, let's go and put this away. It is a very effective seat, that's for sure. The sheep are happy. Very happy. Uh, and then, yeah, I would imagine somebody else is going to be taking this back over to the other farm later. It does tend to be poorer. Does a very good job at transporting machinery between the two yards or three yards, although I don't think a great deal goes over to the uh, cow farm. Okay, uh, so let's just go and see what else he's got for me to do. 
Ah, it's good to hear that you've got all the spraying done. I was beginning to worry that there wouldn't even be a dry spell for you to do it in. I know, it was such a grim morning, wasn't it? Beautiful now. Lovely blue sky. Ah, if only it was always like this. Yes, I think there's going to be thunderstorms later. <laughs> Sounds about right. Anyway, if there's anything else that you need me to do, just let me know. Hmm. I don't think there is anything else, actually. I was wondering, then, if it would be possible for me to start restoring the mower, which you just sold to me. Oh, that's quite a good idea. Yeah, feel free. There is just one thing, though. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ask you for something else. Would it be possible for me to do it in your workshop? Dagwin, you're a worker at this farm. Help yourself. Thanks, Peter. You see, he's just so helpful. Every time you need something, he's always there to help out, although I probably do ask for too many things. Anyway, yeah, so my plan is, well, we're going to have to get some, I think that's, I think he's white paint, unless it was uh, galvanised or something originally. Uh, and he, well, we'll probably paint it white, and then we've also got the red. And then we have this material here, the skirt, which just is really grimy. Could do with uh, completely replacing it. So I think the best thing for me to do is to go down to the dealership, see if we can pick up some supplies, and then I want to get it into the workshop and uh, we'll start to uh, to work on it. I think probably the paint work first, and then we'll let, let that dry. Because I wouldn't want to get paint on the new the new skirt, the material which goes out around the outside. Um, and then we can obviously fit that if I can get hold of some. If not, well, it's going to be lovely paint work and not so lovely material further down. Uh, so anyway, yes, I probably shouldn't ask him for the pickup. I can uh, I can just take the Ford. So that's what we'll do. We'll take the Ford over to the dealership. It will take me a bit of time to get there, of course, but it doesn't matter. It's always a pleasure driving this tractor. The one thing which is gonna be a bit of a concern though is the price of these parts. I, I don't think they're going to be cheap. They are going to be quite expensive. Uh, but that is, that's, that's always been the part of a restoration, the expensive price of parts in the first place. Although it is just going to be paint. The material I can imagine being very expensive. Anyway, all we can do is go and get a price and see if it's worth doing. But I think it will be. I only paid 200 for the, the actual mower itself. I was just thinking about all the times when Dennis has helped me out, especially with the flood over Aletton, or the two floods actually. Both times he helped. The first time, he allowed me to move all my machinery up to his pub where it was on higher ground. The second time, he just helped with everything. He doesn't deserve the situation that he's currently in. He doesn't deserve to have been injured in the accident. All I can really say is, whoever's done this needs to be brought to justice. Well, it does take a long time to get here in a tractor. You do tend to forget how long it takes, but we're here now. We just have the fairly long journey back again. I've always driven the same way. I'm not saying there isn't another way to get here. I might always be taking uh, the long route, but anyway, we're here now. I think we'll just park over here. And we'll see if they have these supplies. I think they'll definitely have paint. Well, good news. They do have both of the things I was looking for. The paint and the uh, mower curtain or skirt. It apparently doesn't really matter what you call it, but they called it a curtain. Um, so, yeah, the curtain is uh, £12 per metre. I'm going to go for probably four metres in total. I don't know, maybe I should go for five. Five metres, £60. And the paint was £20. It's very high quality paint. Um, and also that was for two colours. So £10 per litre. Two litres in total. One litre of each colour. So that is the payment for the material. £60. And that is the £20 for the two tins of paint. Right. Oh, I don't have a brush. Do you have a brush? And there we go. We have £3. <laughs> Three pounds deducted for the brush. So we now have everything we need. Great. Well, thank you very much for being very helpful. Sales, parts, and service. So let's head back over to the farm. It has been nice being here. Hang on. That's where I left it. They haven't even started to work on it. 
Maybe they're not quite as good as I thought. Oh well, Peter hasn't mentioned anything about it, so if he's happy, then uh, well, it's nothing to do with me. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go. Almost back now. Hang on. Some spots of rain on the window. Great. We need to get the mower under cover. I was hoping to get this done before the rain, but as Peter quite rightly said, there are going to be thunderstorms this afternoon. And it is raining now. Right. Okay. So that's good. Let's get it picked up and put inside. Got back to the farm just in time, really. Okay. We'll do it here. Might be better in the up position. We'll soon find out. Yeah, I'll keep it raised. It'll be a little bit easier. Maybe I'll keep it about halfway up. Uh, so, I'm going to start by cleaning up this top area. The top of it. And then we can... Um, yeah, start painting it. We've got to get the prep work done. Those blades seem fine. They cut really well, so I'm not going to touch anything underneath. I think mechanically it really is not a bad mower at all. So yeah, let's just get things prepared and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, well, it is still raining. I have been very busy and I've decided just to go straight for it. All I did is just basically wire brush it down and repaint it. Uh, because of this, some pitting is showing through imperfections in the uh, metalwork but I think it is still a, a massive improvement over what it used to be of course I haven't done the uh, skirt just yet but uh, that's going to be the next job to do but I think really that's quite an improvement it looks much better than it did do before so just get, get it lifted up again get this old skirt or curtain taken off and I didn't realize but the the new one is actually a different color so unless this one is just really become very dirty and grotty I don't know uh, but the new one is like a dark grey almost silver colour actually um, so yeah it's going to look quite different but I think it's still going to look quite good ok so I'll just get it done Get it, this one, all, oh, this whole one taken off hopefully we have enough material I think 5 metres will be plenty and then I'll show you what it looks like it should look much better hopefully so it's going to have to be lifted up do it in a raised position so yeah, I have no idea how long this is going to take, but we'll soon find out. Oh, it's becoming very thundery and rainy out there. Horrible day. Oh, it really is horrible out there. Uh, anyway, it's now 17 minutes past 7. That did take me a while. The main reason why is because of the old one, actually. The new one was very easy to fit, but the old one was just so horrible. The way you attach it, it was just corroded and it's just basically old, uh, which did make it quite tricky. But like I said, it's more of a silvery colour. I'm not sure I do like it at all. Um, but that has transformed the mower, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, it should look very similar underneath. Let's see. Not touch the drums at all. Did do a bit of paint work under there, but yeah. I had to do the main beam. So what do you think? Improvement, or has it made it worse? I think, well, it, it's definitely prolonged the life, but I can't say it looks a lot better. But let me know. I think it's just the colour scheme. It is just the colour scheme. Maybe I should have been a bit more adventurous and chosen a completely different colour. I was trying to go with the originality. But actually, looking at it again, maybe that was the original colour of this, and it has just got so dirty over time. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, see you again. Dagwin, Dennis has woken up. Oh, sorry. Um, I've been called over by Peter. The hospital just called. Dennis, he's woken up.